911. I'm from Hastings, Michigan. I'm a driver for CRT. My convoy was ambushed. I'm buried in a coffin in the ground, and I need help. Please send help. I'm begging you. How did you end up in the coffin? I was put here. Hi, Cal TV. I'm Felicity Trevino, and I'm here with special guest Ryan Reynolds for his new film. True story. <laughs> for his new film, Buried, which is coming out in select theaters this Friday. So, what was it like working with the cast in this film? Um, you know, it wasn't bad. You know, there's an old expression on a film set: if you if you look around and you can't find the asshole, it's you. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> I guess I was the asshole. Um, yeah, no, cast was good. I think we cast showed up on time every day. Well cast cast knew all of his lines. <laughs> cast was extremely Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this film, of course, stars you and only you, mm -hmm. and it's basically 90 minutes in a coffin underground. Yeah. When you first heard of this concept and the idea of this movie. Yeah. Were you just completely floored? Were you just like, this is impossible? Did you think it was doable? Um, yeah, I, I, I think I had a similar reaction in most of Hollywood. The script actually gone around a bit because um, it was so good and it was mm -hmm. so scary and terrifying yeah. that uh, um, nobody really knew how to execute it properly. And I got a letter from uh, this Spanish director, this wily Spanish director named Rodrigo mm -hmm. Cortez, and the letter essentially laid out exactly how, how he could shoot this movie. Awesome. And I didn't believe him, so mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I asked if he would wouldn't mind getting on a plane. It was a long way to go from Spain and sit mm -hmm. down. And we had a nice lunch. And 40 minutes later, we shook hands and said, let's go get buried. <laughs> I heard that you had to face a lifelong fear of yours, um, claustrophobia. Is that mm. true? Did you did you sign on to buried as a way to um, get around other treatments, like I, therapy? No, I, had not, I wasn't claustrophobic until I got there, really. I mean, I, I think everybody has an element of that in their life. But... Uh, you know, there, there were sequences in the film where I was really, really buried. I mean, uh, one, yeah. of the, one of the ticking clocks in the film, one of the devices, is the fact that, that, mm -hmm. that slowly but surely the coffin is filling up with sand. Yeah. And, uh, and so the more that happened, I think the, the increasingly uncomfortable I, I got. And mm -hmm. toward the end, the last day of shooting was, uh, was uh, unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life, and I never, ever want to experience that again. <laughs> so they shot the film in 17 days. Can you explain what a typical day on set was like for you? Um, most days I was buried in a coffin. <laughs> Um, but for the for the most part, it was uh, it was it was pretty grueling work. I mean, I you know I, I usually am a very social actor. I have a lot mm -hmm. of um, I, I have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of a, a great rapport usually with my director, and it's very social and that sort of thing. But in this film, it was uh, just the opposite. It was pretty. Yeah. It was all business. So I'd was come it hard with the language barrier? Uh, yeah, you know, scene. Rodrigo, our our, our director. Is a, uh, to give you an idea of how, how smart this person is, is, is he pretty much learned, mastered English from talking to me in 17 days. <laughs> wow. I don't think I could have picked up a language that quickly. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's a bright guy. Is it, is it true you developed a bald spot from laying in the coffin? That is true. <laughs> no, I, I actually wore away the back of my hair on the, wow. on the, uh, the sand on the coffin. Was it really painful? Did um, you get, like, bruises in there? Yeah, you get, I mean, you, yeah, you get beat up pretty badly, much more than I ever thought I would. I think the, the <laughs> film was, a, was about 100 times more physical than I thought yeah. it would be. I mean, I'm all over the coffin, turning around, jumping. Yeah. So, in the film, you have a dying cell phone, a lighter, a flashlight, and a pen, I believe. I do. If you had to have one other item in there, anything in the world, what would it mm. be? God, a Snuggie would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked that would have kept me off the walls a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. comforting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe so a soother. Okay. That would have been what nice is that? too. You know what a soother? soother is? Like a sound machine? No, like a baby thing. You a know, they soother? suck on a soother. Oh, oh, a pacifier. Oh, maybe we call it that in Canada. In Canada, we have oh, other words for stuff. <laughs> what was your least favorite thing to film? Um, mostly, mostly the stuff in the coffin. The whole film. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. It was a labor of love in the end, though. I think it should be uncomfortable. That's not. It wasn't meant to be like a you know four star resort yeah. in there. Yeah. So I think one of the most amazing things in the film is that you got cell phone reception yeah. underground. Yeah. Can I ask what cell phone provider? You uh, had? I believe I it was switch. Back Cell, which is for Bacuba. Back Cell. <laughs> yeah, Back Cell. The Iraqi cell phone companies wow. are incredible. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch because I can't even get state of the art. In yeah. My yeah, you should check it out. Okay, well, congratulations. The film was amazing. I thought it was thrilling and exciting and just extremely entertaining. So, oh, thank you very um, much. Thank you so much. And everyone out there watching, um, make sure to check out Buried when it hits a the theater near you. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. here. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.